Are you over relying on LinkedIn? Hey, my name is Rob Spence, the Managing Director of Paragon Sales Solutions. I'm a sales trainer, sales coach, sales consultant, and overall sales nerd. And once again, I'm here talking about social selling, or in particular, LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn, I'm sure if you're in sales, in business, you will know what LinkedIn is. For those of you that don't know, LinkedIn is a social media platform designed for professionals to converse, to network, to build relationships. And sure, we cannot deny the fact that LinkedIn has been really good, to a degree, at allowing people like your eyes, salespeople, to find out relevant information on whom to contact. It allows us a chance to, to start conversations with people that we might necessarily not have had the chance to before. So for all intents and purposes, LinkedIn has been very good. However, a lot of people tend to over rely on LinkedIn. And what, what this has all come about is at the time of recording this, so I'm recording this, I think it's the 17th of January, just last week, LinkedIn went down. <gasps> Horror. A social media platform's gone down. What are we going to do? Ah. And it got me thinking. I saw on other social media platforms like Facebook, a lot of people go talking about how it was down and how it was affecting them and how bad it was. Oh my God, what am I going to do? But this is the thing. Sales and business existed way before LinkedIn did. And no one died. Okay, well, they did, but not as a direct result of not having any LinkedIn. Business was still exchanged. Business was still done. But we weren't lazy about it. If we wanted to contact someone, we would pick up the phone. We'd, we'd pick up one of these. Hello? And we'd find out who the relevant person is to speak to. We'd converse. We'd call up and say, oh, hey, listen, I just want to find out who's responsible for X, Y, Z because of, you know, I want to sell to them. And normally you'd, you'd, you'd find out, it's not that hard. Or you'd send an email, you'd send some direct mail, or you'd do what I always recommend and actually go to the, the office and start a conversation that way. And you know, if we take aside the fact that LinkedIn went down, I still see it so often. So many sales people, so many business people will sit there and all they do is just send messages on LinkedIn and they'll just message away in, in the hope that you know, the net will somehow catch in or you can even, you know, buy services where automatic messages go in and stuff. It's all a load of baloney. In my eyes, yes, LinkedIn is good. And as a salesperson, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, yes, you should utilize LinkedIn as you should with any tool in your sales arsenal, whether it be the phone, the email, the direct mail, whatever it is. But don't over rely on it. If you are just trying to gather leads from one source, you're gonna fail. If you're trying to develop relationships just over one source, you're gonna fail. If suddenly LinkedIn goes, do you know what, we're not doing this anymore, we're gonna close down. What are you gonna do then? So I guess the per I realize this, this, this um, has kind of come across a bit ranty and a bit ravey. Number one, don't over rely on LinkedIn, ever. Don't over rely on LinkedIn. And the same could be said for anything. Don't over rely on one lead source or whatever you call it. Two, don't pay people to teach you how to use LinkedIn. Because I found out recently someone charging like 500 pound just to teach them how to use LinkedIn. 500 pound, 500 pound. You can figure out how to use LinkedIn just by using LinkedIn by watching some of these videos using the principles about social selling and relationship development that I talk a lot in these videos for free. You can watch free videos on YouTube on how to use LinkedIn. If you're going to someone to pay them 500 pound, don't, it's a waste of money. That's by the by. Anyway, that's that little rant over. So I guess to end this rather aggressive, angry sales snippet, LinkedIn is not the savior of business. It's not the messiah of business. Okay, remember that LinkedIn is just one tool in your toolkit. If LinkedIn were to go, how are you gonna replace that? If Facebook were to go, how are you gonna replace that? If the phone lines went down, how are you gonna replace that? Hell, if Wi-Fi went down and the internet broke, oh my God, what are you gonna do then? Just remember that there's a whole world of opportunities out there. Don't be lazy, fight for the work that you want 
get out there and get some sales. So, rant over. As always, my email address is open below, rob at paragonsalessolutions.co.uk. Am I wrong? Is LinkedIn the best thing that's ever happened to business and we should absolutely use it every single day and love it and get our tattooed on us? Or am I right that, yeah, LinkedIn is, is okay, but it's not the best thing to ever happen to business and it's not the one thing that you should be using all the time? Let me know. I'd love to know your thoughts. Please do like, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please do share this video as far and wide as best you can. And until next week, all the best. Oh, 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 oh,